Hey guys, what's going on? It's Quinton here. Thanks for tuning in here at Young and Investing. Uh, we all know what happened. There happened a really big crash actually, and I'm not too sure if it's over yet, but I'm going to give my opinion what I think about crashes or corrections like this, uh, name it, whatever you want. But first of all, we're going to pick another winner in our giveaway. So basically what I'm doing is I'm giving away 0.5 ether um, because I hit over 20,000 subscribers. So every video I upload right now, I'm going to give away 0.1 ether. We already gave away two times 0.1 ether. So now, right now we're going to pick the winner of the third 0.1 ether. If you want to participate, what you need to do is you put your Ethereum address in this video in the comments down below, write a little text with it as well. So I know you are not a bot. Um, then uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications on. That is that little bell next to the subscribe button. That's all you need to do to participate. So let's pick the winner for today right now. And I saw that I even had more video, uh, more uh, comments than in the previous videos. So 771, that's that's crazy. That's a crazy amount of comments. Uh, I didn't expect that actually. Unique comments, 711. So let's pick the winner. And the winner is... Elias Hahn. I think he's German to see on his name. He says, uh, great video man and his Ethereum address. So... Elias, I don't know how to pronounce your name, um, but you won 0.1 ether, and I will transfer that to you as soon as I finished recording this video. So congratulations, and as I said, I'm going to give away 0.1 uh, ether two, two more times, so if you want to participate, you know what to do. So let's talk about the market right now. Uh, basically, we saw the market cap going down very hard the last 24 hours it's just crazy um if we have a look to the market cap what happened in 24 hours then we see that the market cap came from 650 billion and right now it's 477 that's that's 150 even more um even 180 180 billion dollars are just gone with the wind in just um 24 hours that's crazy we hit our all-time high yesterday and then immediately after um it started actually so if you have a little more brighter look a broader look actually to what happened we saw it even topped over 650 billion and then it just went just down very hard as we can see right now so we are on our very lowest point right now so I don't, I'm not too sure if everything is over already. But if we have a look to the longer term, we saw that we came, where we came from three months ago. So three months ago, we were on $122 billion. And look at this chart right here. We just went up such a lot. Also, the volume increased such a lot in these few months. Um, and then we topped right here. And we are here right now. Um, so actually, it's still very well on the longer term. I mean, in just a few weeks of time, we saw the most altcoins double in value, sometimes triple, sometimes tenfold in value in just a few weeks. So it, we went up such a lot as well. If we have a look to what happened with IOTA the last few uh, weeks and the month, actually, with Cardano, what happened with EOS, I mean, name it, with Tron, with Verge, all these cryptocurrencies went up such a lot in just a few weeks of time. They doubled, they tripled even more. Um, so actually, it was inevitable to um, avoid a crash. The crash was coming or the big correction was coming because we cannot go um, straight to the moon. It goes with up and ups and downs. It's always like this in every... In every financial sector, I mean, like if you invest in stocks, it's also like this. You go up, there's a correction, you go up, there's a correction, you go up, there's a correction. This is how it goes. So it's nothing really to worry about. But anyway, I can understand if a lot of people are worried because these numbers are pretty crazy. What goes up hard must go down hard. That's a famous quote in the, in, in the investment industry. 
Uh, if you have a look to Bitcoin, uh, actually the entire crash started with Bitcoin because um, Bitcoin was the one that went down yesterday already while all the rest was all, was going up. So Bitcoin was, I think, minus 8% yesterday and um, then the rest was pretty much up. So I already had this feeling yesterday like this could happen that everyone wants to sell Bitcoin right now, wants to get out because Bitcoin is going down so hard. I mean, 8% for Bitcoin is, is, is hard. But right now, see what happens, minus 22. Uh, but anyway, as I said, you have a nice discounts right now. If you have a look to the charts of Bitcoin of the previous month, the last month, then it topped right here, almost 20,000. It even broke through 20,000 for a certain moment. And right now it's some 13,000 again. That's that's pretty low for Bitcoin right now. I mean, um, we are used to higher numbers, and we thought like with the launch of this this futures at the beginning of this week, CMA futures, CME futures. Sorry. Um, then yeah, we thought like the price is probably going up, but it already had its bull run before the launch of this um, futures. So we will see what happens next. I know it feels very bad to see this happening um, for a lot of people, especially if you're new to the cryptocurrency industry. We already saw crashes. Um, in September, there was a crash with all the China fought. Then in July, there was a crash with uh, the hard fork coming up. Then I remember in May, we also had this, or I don't, I'm not too sure if it was May, but we also saw like a crash of 40%. Um, as we are seeing right now, everything 30 or 40 percent. So that was also happening in May um, or April. I'm not too sure anymore. But things happen like this, guys. It's nothing to worry so much about. We also have this very famous quote in the cryptocurrency industry that says, if you cannot handle a 25 percent correction, then you are not worth 300 percent profits. So it means that basically you need to be strong even in difficult situations don't panic sell and just hold and believe in cryptocurrencies for the longer term because if you think about from now but and the end of next year then cryptocurrencies should go up in this time frame it should go up um at least to, for example threefold at least think about that um but in the meantime not everything is going straight up that would be otherwise cryptocurrencies would go up times 500 and that is not the case so um in the meantime sometimes it must go down as well as things happens like right here but if you are new i know that this is very painful to watch because you are losing money but actually you don't lose money because this is only um if you cash out then you lose money so for me personally, I lost more than $50,000 right now or today. So that is pretty painful. That is uh, two uh, yearly wages actually. So that is pretty painful as well, I know. But um, on the other hand, this must happen because Bitcoin went times three in a short period of time. The altcoins went double, doubled or tripled or more. In a very short period of time so it, it went up hard it also goes down hard and this is actually pretty healthy relief i think a pretty healthy situation for the market that it now goes down because it kept going and kept going and there was not even a smallest correction it just went up straight to the moon i see that ripple right now is also going down pretty strongly uh when i last watched one hour ago or something it was still in green numbers so it's also going down right now um yeah things happen guys um just be strong remember but you got very nice discounts as well so uh like i said in my cardano video and also in my verge video i said like don't invest right now because it's hyping up and it's on a very high point and i said um wait until there is some kind of correction it will come i said it both for cardano and for verge because cardano was then above 50 cents and i said wait until it's under 40 um and then it's maybe a good entry position so right now might be a good entry position you got at least a discount of 27 percent compared to yesterday so if it's going more down then at least you are in the market but if it's going up again from now and stabilizing in between 
then you have profits already. So that's what I said for, for Cardano, wait until it's under 40 cents. For Verge, I said that on that moment, it was, I think, 13 cents or something. It topped at 17 cents. Um, but I said for Verge, wait until it's under 10 cents, and then you have also a pretty good entry position. Then 30% compared to yesterday, you got a discount of 30%. Um, right now, Verge, 9 cents. So that is very good entry position. I mean, if I would have some spare money right now and I wanted to get into the cryptocurrency market, then I wouldn't do it yesterday, but I would, would actually, I would do it today because we got this very nice discount. If you go to the stop, to, to the shop for, um, to actually a clothing store, then you prefer to buy your trousers, to buy your t-shirts, to buy your shoes with a discount right you prefer a discount of 30 40 percent um doesn't mean it's bad i mean it's the same for cryptocurrencies it's not because we see right now that it's minus 30 percent minus 40 percent that it means that it's bad no not at all it means that you just got a nice discount for actually the same quality as you got yesterday so that's what i think about it stay focused guys don't panic sell at all because i received an email from someone who told me that he bought Verge at 17 cents and this morning he sold at 9 cents or something like this so he lost half of his value just because he panic sold but that is the worst thing you can do to take your losses like I said if you, as long as you don't sell you don't take your loss you don't lose anything uh, it's just on paper that you lose for now because of these percentages but as I said once you sell it then you lose so that is not very good that I wouldn't advise anyone to panic sell right now and sell something. Just hold uh, profit from these discounts and remember that from now on until next year, the cryptocurrency industry will most likely grow uh, at least a few times. So just hold on, just be calm and everything will be okay and you will make profits eventually. Remember that guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back with more updates, reviews, etc. Cheers.